Hello friends. So in this video today we will see control sequence uh, whenever in our instruction one of the operand is specified in index mode. Here we will see for single bus organization uh, the control sequence. Right. So keeping this diagram in mind we will be writing the control sequence for our instruction. We will be writing the control sequence for our complete instruction. Meaning is starting from fetching, decoding, executing everything. So first here my assumption is that my one instruction consists of one word. That means inside one word, whatever is the word length, inside that your opcode, addressing mode, register and that address field, whatever is that address field, our offset is there in our index mode, that will be there inside one word itself, right? So after doing one word reading, fetch part, our complete instruction will be with us and we will be having the address field will be also there with us. So first we will start with fetching the instruction. This part is almost clear to us. This is an example of index mode. Here R2 is my destination and my uh, source operand is in memory whose address is 30 plus content of register R1. Do remember in index mode data is in memory whose address appears in the instruction not directly but as a component of two uh, values, the sorry, as a summation of two values, one is your offset, one is the content of index register. So addition of these two content means whatever is there in R1 plus this 30, that will be there in the address field of the instruction. Addition of these two will give us what? Address of the operand. At that address, our operand will be there. We'll get that operand, we'll add with R2 and result will be also stored in R2. This is how the instruction will proceed. So see, let's start. So PC out, MAR in, these three lines almost uh, we are familiar with. Why we are doing Y in, that also I have discussed. WMFC, then MDR out, IR in. So till now in step number three, we have got the instruction in our IR. Once it is in IR, the diagram says it is also decoded. After decoding, we got to know that we need to get one memory operand for our add operation. So we need to get the operand from memory. To get the operand from memory, the very first thing required is what? Address of the operand. So first we need to get the effective address of the memory operand. So what is effective address? 30 plus content of R1. Where is 30? The address field of the instruction. Where is R1? In the processor, right? These are the registers. So R1's content and 30 need to be added to get the effective address. So who can perform the addition? ALU can perform the addition. So what we are supposed to do right now is this 30, this 30 and content of R1 we need to bring to the inputs of ALU. Then give the add signal. Then Z register will have the result of summation. That summation result we need to give to MAR. Then only our memory read operation can be done. Right, so we'll do that only. For that only, we'll generate the signal. So R1 out, Y in. You can do address field of IR out, comma Y in also. Both are correct. One of the input of your add operation should be given to the register Y. We have done that because A plus B equal to B plus A. So either of the operand you can put in Y register. So R1's content we have given in Y register. Next is this 30 you need to bring. Where will I get this 30? In the address field of the instruction. So that is out. Out means what? It is there on the bus. It is there on the bus. And your R1 is there in the Y register. So now I need to get this uh, Y register content to this A input. For that what I will give? Select Y. Select Y. Right? So now see both the inputs are there. This is holding what? Address field. This is holding what? R1. So now both the inputs are there. So simply give the add signal. Done. So effective address is produced. Now that effective address will be there in JADIN register. Now our job is this if from this effective address we need to initiate a memory operation, memory read operation. So for that what I will do? Memory read operation starts whenever MAR is given one address. So this is our address. So what I will do? Z out MAR in. Right? That means MAR is holding the address from where memory operation will take place. Then read signal, read, right? After that, what I will do before going to MFC, WMFC, R2's content I will put in the Y register. 
uh, to out y in because i wanted to do whatever is possible to do before my memory operand comes from the memory so r2 out y in and then wmfc now we have to wait till the data comes from memory right after that we have come out of wmfc what does it mean data is there in mdr so now mdr out that means it is there on the v input of the alu and r2 is there in the y register so select y you do select y now i am doing this addition process right so add we'll do the addition and then uh, the result will be there in z register because directly we cannot give the result to any place because on the bus one of the input was there so z in then in the next cycle only from z register we'll give the result into the destination what is that r2 r2 in end so hope this you have understood for single bus uh, index mode control sequence and one more point you need to remember here my length of my instruction was one word by reading one word from the memory pointed by pc we have got everything and then we have proceeded with the execution part done then next i will see this uh, we will do the same thing but next time we will assume our length of our instruction is two word that means in the first word your op code addressing mode registers every information will be there and in the next word your offset field will be there together this two is the current instruction and the next instruction will be at this address right so if it is 1000 then it will be 1004 and at 1008 only our next instruction is there in the memory so to get this address field we need to perform one more memory operation because in a single memory operation the maximum number of bits we can read is a word length so one word we will read will get this part will get this into ir after that we'll go to uh, get to know that we need to get your address field so that we will bring and then that we will use for our generation of effective address because mode is same index mode so index mode address field plus index register content will give me the effective address of the operand from there we can perform any memory read or write then so again the same example only but now my instruction length is two words so first part is getting the first part of the instruction so this part is similar to my previous discussion so this is there so now we have got the instruction now what i need to do i need to get this 30 from the memory because 30 is not stored in the same word it is in the subsequent word so who is pointing to that 30 pc is only having that address right so pc as well as y register is also having that address but from y register i cannot do any out so pc out then mar in so from suppose it was having first 1000 now this is 1004 that is given to mar then read and then select four because i need to increment the pc to point to the next instruction add then zd then z out y pc in y in and then i need to wait till i get the 30 from the memory right so yeah, i may wait here or what i can do i can get r1 also into the y register so r1 out y in and then wmfc right so r1 out y in wmfc we have done that means this part we have incremented as well as stored in the y register but in the next uh, step only r1's content because r1 content will be added with this 30 so we have made it available in the y register and then now we are waiting for this 30 so mdr out and then select y so r1 was there in y register so select y mdr out means this 30 and then add that in now from z uh, in uh, this mdr out select y add that in so this is what this is your effective address this is not your addition result this is also addition result but not the addition of this instruction this is the addition result for generating the effective address this address now need to be transferred to mar so z out mar in then read will give the read signal then r2 out this r2 for the next addition process y in so then wmfc and then once you have come out of wmfc that means data is in mdr so mdr out right and y register is holding r2 so select y then add and then zd then from z register transfer the result to your r2 so z out r2 in and
so here basically what we have done it is a two word instruction in the first part we have got the that uh, of code addressing field the various information and in this part we have got what in this part this mdr out is giving me the address field and whenever i am waiting for this mdr means data to come from memory in the meantime this r1 is given in the y register right so y register is having that one part of your effective address then when we got this 30 from memory we selected y and performed this operation and then this is my complete ea this ea is given to mar to perform the memory operation and once i uh, before i get the memory of print we have made r2 in y register and then once data comes from memory we have performed the addition and result is sent to r2 so hope this part is clear and if you are getting from my explanations then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe my subscribe to my channel thank you